Hi everyone, this is Snoopy from DMB Academy and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make leads like the ones in the track Ready to Fly by Subfocus and Dimension. So this is the original track. And this is the recreation. Also, before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and keep notifications of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dnbacademy.com. We have great preset packs, producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Abyss, Mastec, and many more. Showing you how to make a track from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining the preset pass. The link is also in the description below. So that being said, let's get into the video. These will be the notes that we will be using. And now let's jump into Serum. Okay, so let's start with Oscillator 1. Then we're gonna lower it a little, one octave. Now let's go for a slater B. Uh, let's choose basics. Let's bring the triangle. This one will bring one up and seven semitones, that's a fifth. So we already have like the tone of the lead, as you guys can see. So we're almost halfway through, <laughs> just beginning. And okay, so next let's add some sub minus two triangles. Well, Let's bring this a little bit down. Just give that string extra strength. Let's bring these randoms down. And on the first one, bring it to 90%, 90 degrees, sorry. So next we're going for the filter. And forget to pinch the B, the sub, and let's make it key tracking. Bring the fat all the way up. And now let's assign it to oscillator one, to LFO one, sorry. Okay, so for this, let's bring it all the way up. Let's bring this a little bit down. In the LFO, let's bring it to envelope. And now let's give it a little punch. So let's go for the matrix. Go for LFO 2 and master tuning. Let's bring it to unipolar. 
and just bring it a little bit up. So let's see. LFO2, envelope, give you a faster rate, and bring this down. Cool. So everything on this menu, let's bring it to mono. That doesn't matter because we're always playing. We're never, we're not overlapping notes. So, but just to be sure. So let's bring a little bit of attack and some release as well. Okay, great. Now let's move into the effects. And let's start with hyper. Bring this right down. Detune down. Unison 7. Let's make it with trigger. And over here, a little bit of mix in the dimension. Let's bring the side. Okay, after this, let's go for the distortion. Let's use diet one. Bring the drive all the way down. And let's assign it to LFO one. Okay. Now, beside this, let's go for pre and let's move it to high pass. And just bring this a little bit down. Great. Let's maybe a little bit lower here. Okay, so it doesn't get too squishy. <clears throat> Next, let's move to the EQ and let's grab a couple of frequencies here. And the highs as well. <clears throat> okay, let's get this around thousand fifty. Nine. Okay, for this one, I want an extra LFO. Let's do the envelope and let's do it here. Okay, to add that extra movement, let's bring this higher. Runs it. Okay. Better. Maybe this Okay, that's good. Let's bring this EQ up. And next we're going for a filter. Try to clean these a little bit. Going for multi for this one. Let's 
bringing the frequency all the way up and then the cutoff over here and what we're doing here is just to remove uh, clean a little bit to uh, soften actually the the high end Okay, around here is it's good. You see the difference? <clears throat> now from the filter we're going to the compressor. You can lower even more the sound. Let's bring it a little bit down for now because after we're using the compressor and the multiband compressor will bring things a bit up. Okay, next we're going for a reverb, let's bring a plate, get the width open, bit of damping, now bring the pre-delay down and also Just pitching, we bring it. As usual, we always have small adjustments to do, even the, um, the distortions and the overdrives that we're using, like what we're doing next with the trash. It all, it all just changed the, the sound and the texture of the sound. But the technique or the movement that's created in this lead, it's here. So, okay, so from here, let's go for a thrasher. Or a trash, I mean. And let's just have some saturation. Okay, let's go back to the serum because we have a two. Oh, I know. Where do we go? We're here in the matrix and bring it a little bit down. Okay, perfect. Now, with this one, I want to take it, this one and bring the level down. Sign it here. Great. And for this one, let's bring the level the other way. So going down. One's going up, the other one's going down. Okay. And for the sub as well. Okay, for this, we need... um. Now we need um, a pro cue. And just bring it behind the 
And with this, we're going to clean those lows before getting into the, um, the pressure. So this was the reconstruction of the Subfocus with Dimension track, the Ready to Fly. So, if you like this video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and keep notifications of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dnbacademy.com. We have great preset packs, producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Abyss, Mastec, and many more, showing you how to make a track from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining the preset pass. The link is also in the description below. So thanks for watching, I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next videos.